In this recording, I want to cover how to play chess. And the best way to play chess is just to do it. So begin by getting yourself an electronic version of chess somewhere. This one is Chess Titans, which is on Windows 7. You might be able to buy it somewhere, I don't know, but you can get any kind of chess. There's free ones you can get for your phone or your computer. But play a game where all you do is move pawns. So all I'm going to do is move my pawns and see what happens. And so with this version of chess, it shows you where your pawn can go. When you press the button, it shows you everything that it can do. If I press the button here, it can't do anything. This one can go forward. Pretty nice. So I'll, I'll take this one up here, and uh, then I'll just move another pawn. It's moved a pawn up there. And here's a, the pawns are in motion. And all I'm doing is moving pawns so that I can get the hang of it. And I want you to do the same thing. So now I can move my pawn here. And uh, he took my pawn. So now when I press the pawn, it shows that I can take his bishop. The only way you can capture a piece with a pawn is at a diagonal. I'm going to capture his bishop. And he made a mistake by moving where I could advance a pawn and then uh, get something. So now he's put his knight down here. Who knows what he's going to do? It doesn't matter because all I'm doing is moving my pawns. I'm not really trying to win. Or, well, I'm really not trying to win. <laughs> but, uh, but it may seem like that. So I'm going to move that pawn up to... When you first move a pawn, it can move up one or up two. There he goes. He is uh, going to... Um, uh, so I'm, I, I'm, I need to move something. So I'm going to move my knight up two and over one to capture his knight. Who, and he took my, uh, my pawn. And uh, I know I said it would just do pawns. So now he's threatening this uh, bishop. It doesn't really matter because all I'm doing is moving pawns. It's hard for me to keep that in mind. <laughs> all right. So, so now we, uh, I keep moving my pawns up to see what's going to happen. He did that pawn there. And we'll go here and see what he does. And he did something. Now I can now I can show you a thing that pawns do called en passant, e n space p a s s a n t. If I click here, I can go here and take that pawn as if it had only moved one time. It only works if you're sitting on the fourth row of your opponent's uh, you know er, uh, territory, and the opponent moves two at the same time. When it does that, you can you can move here and take and that pawn will disappear. And then uh, I'm of course threatening this other pawn over here, which is, and it, it took it, etc. So that's pretty much all I can do with my pawns. So let's start over. And uh, all right, so uh, let me start over. Now we're going to move uh, have a board and just focus on the knights. All we're going to do is focus on the knights. That's the it's the it looks like a horse, and it's from Knights of the Round Table, I guess, or knights from uh, medieval times, and it moves up two and over one, or over one and up two. Either way, so I'm going to move the knights, and I'm going to move this knight out, and that's all I'm going to move is my knights. So this can move up two. And over one, or uh, over one, and over two. But that would that would put me in jeopardy by his pawn. So I'm going to try to make these last as long as possible before uh, before I lose them. So he came out with his pawn to threaten it. So I need to go somewhere else. I guess I'll retreat for now. And I don't know what to do. So I'll go here. And now I have both knights threatening this one piece. So I can go ahead and take this pawn. Anything that turns red, you can take. If I take this pawn, it it's, uh, can be taken by his bishop. If I take this pawn, it can be taken by the queen. The thing about this pawn is I have both knights threatening the same piece. He chose not to take it. Isn't that something? So now what can I do with my knight? I uh, don't really have much I can do. Uh, that's much. So I'll just go down here and see what I can do. Ah, he moved this. So I'm going to move it back where it was and see what, uh, what I can do now. 
to cause trouble or whatever. Ah, now he's threatening this knight. So I'm going to get him over here, move him out of harm's way. And there's not much I can do with this. The queen is threatening my knight. I can go any of these blue places. I can go, look at that. There's eight places I can go with this knight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of territory. And the knight can jump over any other piece. That's the only one that can do that. So I can't really uh, protect the knight. All I'm trying to do is move knights around and get rid of it and figure that out. And so that's what you, you can do that. You can play with your knights and uh, get an idea of what they can do and where they can go and just move your knights around. Don't move anything else. Just move the knights. And there's really not much that knight can do. Uh, he can go back where he was. Uh, this knight can go up here. Um, this knight can go down here, I suppose. And so he can go forward or backward. That's a good point. And there he goes. He has uh, done that. So I'll go here and see what I can do with my knight. Not much. I could go here. The, the most powerful thing I ever do with a knight is threaten two pieces at once. If I go here, it's going to threaten his queen and his bishop. And at this level, he's smart enough to move his queen out of the way. And he did. So now my knight is uh, threatened by the queen. I can go all these blue squares I can go. I can take the bishop. I can take this pawn. I could just get out of harm's way. I'll go ahead and take the bishop. Why not? And that makes me lose my knight. There we go. So now I can go here. If I go here, I threaten this pawn and the queen at the same time. And of course, she should move out of the way. And she did. So now I can go, oh, I don't know. I can go here and uh, be protected still. But if she keeps her queen there, and she did. So now I can go here and threaten the rook and the queen at the same time. And so she decided to go here. So I'm going to take her, or the my opponent's rook. See how powerful the knight is? And of course, it takes my queen. I have to take this queen with something to keep playing. And uh, I'll do that. But all I've done is move my knight around. And then he took my knight. So you can see how the knights work. Well, let's, let's do another game and just do bishops. All right. So to do the bishop... The bishop can't jump over anything. If I press either of my bishops, the black bishop only stays on the black squares, the white bishop only stays on the white squares, and both the bishops can move back and forth. So I'll have to get something out of the way to move the bishops. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these pawns out of the way. And then I'll be able to move both my bishops. So I went ahead and moved my pawns there because I didn't want to involve that pawn. All right, so this bishop can move here. It's not doing much, but it can go there. And this bishop here only moves on the black. And play a game just moving bishops around and see what you can do. So I'm put my bishop here. Now this knight has come to threaten various things. I can move my bishop here. Now then, my bishop is threatening this knight. And the knight is he can't move the knight without putting himself in check so he won't move it. And so this knight here has come over to uh, threaten this pawn and that pawn that's not a problem. So I'll go ahead and take this knight with my bishop. And of course I traded my bishop, which is worth three points, for a knight, which is worth three points. Of course, I think you already know that I think uh, knights are worth more than bishops. So um, I'll just move the bishop down here, see what he wants to do. Oh, there he goes. He's going to put me in checkmate if I let it go on. So there's really not much I can do. Um, because if no matter what I do, well, I can move. We're not really playing the game to do anything. I keep forgetting. All right, so that's enough for the bishops. Whoops. Uh, let me uh, st now get a new game against the computer. And now we'll have a game just of rooks. So we've had the knights that can go up here. Uh, you know, Go like that. And uh, you can use Control-Z to go back. And so the, those are the knights can go up here. Uh, they can go here. And the first move of your knight is a very powerful thing to do. It's good to start with a pawn or two. 
and then get your knights out. We did the bishops. You'll have to move a pawn out of the way to get the bishops uh, where they can play. Same thing for the rook. I'm going to have to move this up too in order to get the rook out. And there is an opening that involves getting your rooks out like this. So I've got the pawns up. I'm going to get my rooks into play, and I'm just going to move my rooks. The rooks can move straight, not diagonal. See, the, the, the bishops move diagonal, the rooks move straight. So I've got both my rooks out. And, oh, you took my rook with the diagonal. Always look, see with the diagonal. So that's a three-point piece that took a, uh, a five-point piece. So I'm going to get it back because I don't want to lose it this early in the game. So what can I do not to lose in this early in the game? Not much. So, so what I'll have to do is um, get some more pieces out so that I can protect my rook so we can play it for a while. So I'll, I'll go ahead and make arrangements to get my rook in front of my queen. All right, so now I can get my rook out. And I can go over here in front of my queen. And so you press the button and you can see where the rook can move. In this case, straight. And he's got his, he's threatening my rook with his, with his knight. Well, that's very powerful because the knight is a three-point piece and the rook is five points. So he went up there. Let's see if we can just move this out of the way. Now then we can get this over here. And we can put the rook in front of the knight, which we really shouldn't trade a rook for, uh, for, for that. But we're just playing with rooks. We're just getting the job done, etc. So I'm gonna, I could take him. <coughs> excuse me. I can move over here, and I can just keep going up with my pawn. I'm going to go with my pawn, and so then let my rook take, take uh, his pawn. He didn't do it. That's funny. That's highly unusual. Look at that. So the rook went there. I can, I mean, the pawn went there. So I can just keep going up with my, huh. So if I go here, the rooks are powerful. He took my, uh, took my pawn, which he should have. So I can go here. Uh, I can just go here, and since my rook is protected by my other rook, he has to get out of the way. I can take his rook like that. And then that's about all I can do with one rook unless I get more pieces. I can go ahead and take his knight, which you shouldn't do unless it's strategic. If you have a strategic reason, great, do it. But I'm just going to do it just because we're playing with rooks only. So that covered knights and bishops and knights and bishops and rooks on both sides. So now let's start a new game. And I'm going to just use the queen. So I'm going to get the queen out and just use the queen. The queen is the, the it sits beside the king, the king, well, and the king just moves one piece at a time. I guess we should, to be fair, do both of them, the both royalty pieces. So to get the queen out, I have to move a pawn out of the way to get the queen out. So I think that I will um, play with I'll play with uh, there we go. So there is my queen. I have I have where I can go. So now I can any player that, that the blue is the queen can go. That's amazing. I'll move the queen up here. See what he does with this knight. Not much. So I can go here. I could take his knight with my queen if I wanted to, but the queen is 10 points, the knight is three. I could just do a bunch of other things, but we're really not playing the game. We're just we're just playing to see what we can do. I'll take the knight with my queen. That worked out pretty good. It opened up a line. I mean, you might have a strategic reason to do that. I can go here and take, uh, take that pawn. Of course, he'll take my queen with his queen, and that's uh, how it would work. I can move back here. And I could move this up here, which will make him move his knight, which is fine. Then I can get on the black squares, and I can move on the black. So I can move here on the black with my queen, and I can, every, you know, I could take this knight or that knight, etc. 
and uh, if I take this knight here, of course, he'll take it with uh, the bishop. So, I mean, his rook. So it's not a, you know, it's not a really good thing to do. So uh, let me just back up everything. So the next thing we could do is just move the king. The king has to have a way to get out as well. So I'm going to move one piece up so we can get my king out. And I'll just move the king around. He can move only that one square right there. So I'm sure the opponent saying, what in the world? So now he can move those three squares. The king can move only one square. So now he can go here. He can't go there because the knight's in the way. He can't go there because the uh, bishop's in the way. So let's go here. So he can only go over here. Let's go over here. So let's go over here. See what we can do. So the king can only go here or here. He's in check there. He can only. He can't move your king in check. That's why we say check. So now we still can't take anything. We can move here. So we could threaten his knight with the king because oh, and now he's got both knights protecting each other. And my king only has a few places he can go. Can't go there because this knight's protecting that square. I can go here. And that's it. So I can go over here. Can't go a lot of places with my king now. Just whatever. Okay, so that, that covers all the pieces. And I really appreciate your comments and your thoughts. We'd love to know what you thought about this uh, this method of, of teaching people how to play chess. But just get uh, get one of those electronic versions and and play with each piece. Take 10 minutes, 5 minutes, whatever is comfortable for you. Take each piece and learn how each piece moves. Then you start learning how to do them strategically. Maybe play a game where you only use pawns and knights or where you use pawns and bishops or pawns and rooks. Get an idea how they play together before you start learning all the strategies that I've been covering. And I, I like to keep it simple and always look for different uh, things that are going on. Patterns, simplistic moves, one something I can do one or two moves ahead that sort of thing because that's about uh, that's about all my strategy sustains is one or two maybe three moves ahead it depends especially if it's uh, a piece I like anyway thank you so much for watching have a great day bye bye.